Hey guys, in today's video we'll try to find out if cleaning the barrel of your precision rifle actually helps the accuracy or not. I got the idea for this video by watching Eric Cortina, the F-class shooter, the guy that shot a 1.3 inch 5 shot group at a thousand yards. I'm watching his channel because he has so much very interesting and useful information for reloading and for precision shooting. But what caught my eye was his take on cleaning the barrel of his precision rifle. From the tactical point of view and PRS for example, the cleaning of the barrel is done just lightly to preserve the barrel and try to not change any of the variables. Why is this important? Because for the tactical use you want to have the same cold bore shot every time. You don't want to have any change in the point of impact. But what surprised me was when I saw the Eric's video on his procedure of cleaning the barrel, which is very thorough and he uses abrasives and um, quite aggressive chemicals. And his idea is that you have to have completely clean barrel every time. At first it was a bit strange to me, but it makes sense if you think about it. Because for F-class and bench press shooting, they don't, don't care about the cold bore shot, they don't care about the, the shift of impact, because as long as they have time before the match to um, sight in the rifle and foul the barrel, they're good to go. So this made me wonder, for all of the years that I owned this rifle, and all of the rounds that I shot through it, I never completely deep cleaned the barrel. All I did was light oily patch through the barrel and before the next shooting just um, clean it dry. And I never had any problems, I never had any issues with accuracy. But now I'm wondering, you know, what kind of barrel do I have? How much um, copper deposits do I have? Uh, would deep cleaning my barrel actually change anything on the target. And this is what we will find out today in this video. Okay, so now we are looking at the dirty barrel. So we are in the chamber, this is the neck area. I think these are some copper deposits or dirt. This is the throat and we are starting to see the lens. And you can see there's quite a lot of copper buildup very nice and shiny. So what we are looking at, uh, you see the grooves, uh, we see the copper deposits and we see the carbon deposits. Very distinct lines, different color. So this is the dirty barrel. It's like this, I guess, for the whole barrel, yeah. And at the end we see less, uh, less of the carbon and less of the copper. Probably because the pressures are lower. And this is the crown. So I think we have good groups. I know that by bench rest standards this is shit. But for my rifle, for my skills, for this ammo, I think this is really good. What surprised me, well, it's not such a surprise, but my hand loads are actually worse than factory Salier and Below 308 match ammo. Which is good in a way, but also makes me think that uh, I need to <laughs> improve my hand loading procedure. Uh, I, I think that's brass prep and I think I need to get better annealing. Um, but yes, we have a good result. Now I will mildly clean the barrel just with some, uh, some gun oil and rags and then shoot another three groups so we can compare. Okay, so this would be my ordinary cleaning procedure. Just some gun oil and then uh, running the patches through the barrel until it's relatively clean and dry. Now let's shoot another three groups. Now 
Now I'm not sure if it's my shooting or what, but after the cleaning with my hand loads, the group is definitely way smaller than it was before. Um, otherwise, um, this maybe has a little bit of point of impact shift, but these two groups are almost identical, same point of impact. Uh, the last one with the factory ammo, I don't know again if it's me, but it opened up a bit. But just here from the first look, looking at this target, I don't see any big difference between these and these groups. So I just finished shooting eight five shot groups back to back uh, for the precision benchmark that we will use before deep cleaning the barrel. And on the last two groups, I saw a point of impact shift to the left. At first I thought it was a flyer that I did something, uh, but it was consistent to the left. And then I thought about it and the barrel, the barrel is so hot that I cannot hold it. And I think it was just a shift of point of impact because everything heated up so much. So that's maybe also interesting. When we deep clean the barrel and when we shoot another set of groups, the barrel will be cool again. And we will see if this will replicate with those groups also. Before I start with the thorough cleaning of the barrel, I would just like to say a big thank you to Brunel's Germany because they provided with a lot of stuff that made this video happen. Uh, with all of the cleaning supplies, cleaning solutions, this uh, precision gun stand, uh, the chronograph, everything was provided by them and we really thank them. Now well, let's start the cleaning with removing the bolt and this here is actually it guides your cleaning rod and also protects your chamber so you don't damage it. So we're finished with the first pass of the uh, bore cleaning foam and there are still some deposits in the barrel and it's a bit rough so I will be using this JB Borbright which is an abrasive but also I saw Eric Cortina use the abrasives and I guess uh, all of the band trash shooters use abrasives and Maybe it um, shortens your barrel life a bit, but it shouldn't be such a problem. Okay, so now we got the barrel reasonably clean. At least the first two thirds of the barrel are completely bare metal. At the end of the barrel there are still some copper deposits, but uh, we don't have time to clean it anymore. If anything, I discovered that actually thoroughly cleaning the barrel takes a lot of work, a lot of time. As you can see here, um, it's not simple. Before I start shooting uh, for the groups and for the accuracy, I will put a couple of rounds through the barrel first to foul it. We have some results, but it's, it's really hard to interpret them. If we look at the hand load and factory ammo on both of the targets, it is obvious that the factory ammo, all of the groups with the factory ammo, after the thoroughly cleaning the barrel, the groups are bigger, more spread out, more flyers. But this, huh, this could be explained by us trying to rush through the shooting, well not to rush, but we were under pressure to shoot and film before the range closes and we didn't have time to cool the barrel. It was quite hot and I think because the barrel was so hot the groups widened up. But if you think about it, even before we cleaned the barrel, for those groups that we shot, the barrel also got quite hot. We didn't make any pause for it to cool down. A uh, title for a video. You don't need to clean your barrels as much. Great news, Giga would be, should be <laughs> super happy about it. Yeah, we, <laughs> we should do a clickbait title. Uh, the only thing that I'm concerned about is that um, I actually thought that deep cleaning the barrel, thoroughly cleaning it would help just a bit with the accuracy, at least maybe consistency. But from what we are seeing now, it does not matter. Exactly. And that's awesome news for shooters. Out. It is, it is, but I'm wondering if we did something wrong or maybe what, what I think is just 
it's just my barrel it's a sample of one and I guess my barrel really likes to be dirty <laughs> so guys uh, what I would like to say uh, if you shoot with your rifle and you have good groups and you have your own cleaning regimen that really works and you still have good groups and no change of point of impact just keep it up don't clean it that's it thank you for watching uh, guys please subscribe like all the good stuff um, and also thank you again to Brownells Germany for all of the supplies and uh, Celerium below for the ammo because this was quite an expensive range trip. Thank you, fuck off. Fuck, 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 fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Still some deposits and it. <laughs> <laughs> deposits! It was deposits! <laughs>